What's up, YouTube? And what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero. Welcome to another Pokemon TCG Crimson Invasion pre release wrap up video. Goodness gracious, that's such a long title. But again, welcome. Um, yesterday, I wound up going to another Crimson Invasion pre release with a friend this time because, as I said in the last Crimson Invasion pre release, I wasn't so gung ho on this set. This set has been. As I'm sure you've heard from other Poketubers, um, this set is interesting. Um, a lot of people aren't having the same kind of luck, uh, like pulling things, even out of boxes. And I haven't opened a box yet. I do plan on opening a box just because I am a collector and I do want to try and get all the cards. But from what I've heard, it's not going to be much of a good time. But when anyway, it was fun. Um, so per usual, let's go ahead. Well, I guess first we can take a look at the box on the pack cam. Um, where you can see it's the same thing that we went over before. Um, this pre-release was a little interesting. Um, it was at Docs Comics and Games in Frisco, Texas. So that's like, I would almost call that my home place. That's the place that got me both of the Shining Muse that, I, that I've opened. So I like this place. Uh, but you could even tell by the attendance of the pre-release that the set's not being received so well. Um, there were only like 10 people there. I think they had spots for 40 there are only like 10 people there. Um, so before we... Wait, hold on. What's in the what's in the front of this? I op if I open this as a spoiler? No, it's not. You just see the packs that I've already opened. So let's go ahead and cut to the pack opening where you can see where we got. And then we're going to go over the deck that I used and open the, uh, the prize packs from after. <laughs> Okay, so you can kind of understand why this set is kind of like... My friend that went also didn't pull anything. He wound up pulling at least a GX in his uh, in his gift, uh, in his prize packs. Um, but a regular GX for $30, that's just not worth it. Uh, we've talked about this before, but I think two pulls and you're good. So for us, we haven't pulled anything. Uh, so let's go over the deck real quick. I wound up going two and one which was better than what I did with my GX deck. So first up, I'm just gonna go through this kind of quick, um, but we did use Mawile for that call for family to get two basics on the bench. Miltank almost won us a game against a Guzzlord, and by almost, I mean had absolutely no chance. Um, someone pulled a Guzzlord at this pre-release, and it's pretty much just over at that point. Like, um, it's a third turn win. Uh, it's not fun to play against, but Miltank was the one that took the hit. Uh, we wound up winning, actually, our second battle from this Haunter. So the Haunter puts two damage counters on each of the opponent's Pokemon that has damage counters on it. So my opponent had used Earthquake on Gastrodon, putting 10 damage to everyone on the bench, and then put up a Pokemon that had, I think it was a Beware. So it, ha it had, like, three retreat costs, and I just wound up doing uh, Haunter's attack until it was dead. And then this Gengar won us our third match <clears throat> with its ability that caused the, the opponent to put two, dam two damage counters on each of its Pokemon whenever he attached an energy, and that put it in uh, in range for what else I had. Our big hitters today were Escavalier doing Iron Tackle for it helped out in the third battle for sure, and our Registeel, um, who I, I like this card. I think this card's really good. That wound up being our promo, as you saw. Uh, is that this Registeel was actually pretty good. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Now the cool thing about this pre-release 
was that they gave us four packs instead of three to open afterwards. So, um, as you can see here, we got four of them. And that's pretty awesome. And we have one, well, of each of the Ultra Beasts. I don't think Silvali is considered an Ultra Beast, but it's pretty close. So, again, we're hoping for two pulls. Um, now, I saw some people that opened these up and didn't get anything. These are the last four packs of my... Uh, uh, no, last... These were the last four packs of the box. So let's hope for some luck. First, we'll start off with the Buzzwalt. As we've said, none of our Sun and Moon sets have given us anything more than a regular GX in quite some time. So uh, I'm gonna, now that I know how these sit in the box, I won't be spoiled by the code card, which will make this opening a little better than the last one. So I'm gonna go with a Fighting Energy. Ooh, Fire Energy, I, was, I consider that close. So, uh, as I said in the last video, if you've been to a pre-release, go ahead and let me know what you got. Uh, let me know how it went. All of those things. I'd love to hear about it. Now, I saw some people... Actually, now that I stop and, say, now I stop and think about it. Some people pulled, like, Full Art Lusamine. There was a Full Art Gladian. There was a Secret Rare... Um, whatever the double energy is. I don't exactly remember. I still haven't done a set review of this set. Or a set preview. I guess I probably need to... I just flipped that code. <sighs> I really hate when code cards go this way. Because I always forget. Uh, but let's go with the water energy. Oh, there's the fighting energy we called. Unfortunately, I know that there's nothing in here to celebrate. Calling that... Almost calling that energy. That Geo dude With defense curl. <clears throat> the, my friend that went... Actually wound up stalling out somebody. That. That. So there was a double... There was a... Secret rare counter energy that I saw. And the person that had it was like, they were shuffling their cards like this. So like they would have the cards like this and they would take it in half and, uh, hold on. They would do like the, you know, where you like fold the card. Oh my gosh, it was painful to watch that. Cause I was like, well, you're, you're damaging a secret rare. Like just give it to me. Don't damage it. Uh, but that's okay. All right, which way do I need? Okay, so I'm gonna open it this way. I'm gonna lower it, so you can't see the code. I'm sorry. I, I, I'd like to keep the codes for myself. Uh, I'm gonna go with the psychic energy. Oh, it's the dark energy. I feel like I've been close in some way on like everything, but anyway, there. I just. I don't need there to be good cards. I'm aware that there's really no good cards in this set, but where, like, I can't even get a hollow. This is, I really hope that this isn't how future sets are gonna go, because these pull rates, these pull rates make me not want to collect Pokemon cards. Because it's like, I mean, it just, it absolutely makes me not want to. So I'm gonna go with a metal energy. Ooh, I did call it correct. I don't know what's at the back. See the code card. We're very hopeful that it's something shiny. And if it could be more than a GX, we'd be even happier. First rare Raichu and a Salazzle. Man. Well, that's it. Um, Crimson Invasion. We just have to hope. Pokemon Company, if you're watching, for some reason, Please don't do this. Um, these pull rates are absolutely terrible. And like, it's going to stop people from buying packs and buying products. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. Do subscribe if you're new. I meant to say this at the beginning of the video, but um, we're in the time just before sun, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. We've got about three weeks left. When that comes, we are going in. Two to three, video, two to three Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon videos every single day until the game is over. So I hope you'll subscribe so you can see that. And we'll see you for the next Pokemon TCG video. Until then, have a blessed day.